What's up, everybody? Cod Pod episode three. I don't know if anybody else has been keeping up with this, but I sure have. And this stuff that they keep telling us, letting us know about BO6 is uh, making me pretty freaking excited. I'm so stoked. But let's just let them talk it out and I'll just kind of put in my two cents as it goes. Well, I'm going to put a pin in that and deal with that later. But next question. Um, we're getting a lot of zombies love, especially after the last episode. Thanks, everyone, for the questions and the yeah. comments yep, and yep. all that. Uh, has the zombies team made any changes to Liberty Falls since we first saw it at Cod Next? Ooh, good question. Yes. Good question. Short answer, yes. yes. Um, next question. The Liberty Falls that <laughs> everyone saw at Call of Duty Next was work in progress, right? That map was still months away right. at the time from launch. And so the zombies skeptical. team has continued to was iterate on Liberty Falls um, since then. And the visual tone and sort of the look and feel are now a bit moodier. Did you hear that? Did you catch that? The, well, I guess everybody's been calling the aura is <laughs> now moodier. It, it was very bright. A lot of people were complaining about that. A lot of people were just complaining that it looks a lot like more of a war zone map instead of a zombies map. And part of that being, I think it just looks bright and open and stuff like that. And for this example, they seem to have changed it. So, I mean, that's a pretty big update for Liberty Falls or what everybody calls Liberty Balls. <laughs> so, so this kind of is already kind of what I expected. I wasn't a hundred percent sure they were going to do it, but I had a feeling they were with, at least with what they were telling us to begin with that they are actually starting to listen more to the community and actually work on what, what the feedback we've been giving them is. So as long as we're giving them good feedback and they're, you know, implementing it, working on it and making it well, I think the game can come out and be absolutely fantastic. I think it could be much better than probably any previous CODs besides it being, you know, online only and stuff like that. But besides the point, zombies is, I'm hoping, going to be up there in terms of the rankings. Cool. Than what people saw in the work in progress version, uh, Call of Duty Next. So that's very exciting. And um, there are some atmospheric elements that people did not see at Next because at the time we right. had the yeah, main I actually quest talked about this and earlier. the Easter eggs disabled for broadcast. No you know, spoilers. We didn't want to spoil right. it. No spoilies. And so I think um, there's a lot that people haven't seen in terms of those elements. Um, Right. And something right, to look right. forward to for launch. Kevin. Oh, that is 100 percent true. They did. Um, they did explain this at Cod Next from what I can remember. Um, I was watching it at work, so <laughs> I might be a little spotty on it, but I was more than positive that before they even jumped into the zombies um, map, Liberty Falls, like in showcasing that, that they even told everybody that the, a lot of the stuff was going to be turned off just so for the sake of keeping the search for the Easter egg alive when the game releases kind of thing. And that people weren't actively trying to search for stuff right away, even though of course we found, I think people found the vault. I say we, as if I was there, I was definitely not there, but, <laughs> but yeah, um, they found the vault or whatever and finding the, the, uh, combination lock and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. the numbers on notepads, if you know, you know, if you followed along during that, but but yeah, they definitely turned off a lot of that. And part of part of my speculation with that was just the assumption of like, let's say maybe certain voice lines of explaining while we're why we're there, like who sent us there, things about what our characters are saying to us to let us know what's going on, our our, our own thoughts, our own characters' thoughts as to what they're doing in there. And then I, I think that, that that's a big uh like kind of aura thing for me when it comes to zombies, is like I'm always laughing at some of the voice lines that are made because a lot of them are just <laughs> genuinely funny especially from like bo3 days like especially rich Dauphin being uh very uh <laughs> sounding very crazy in some of his voice lines so and then of course you can't forget dempsey and his uh iconic lines when it comes to being a military man <laughs> so yeah i love it but just in general yeah having a lot of that stuff turned off i think a lot of people may have been over speculating about an underground area and stuff like that. I don't think that's going to be the case. I definitely don't believe they're going to do that, but otherwise like, yeah, they they definitely seem like they're listening a lot more, which is nice. And I think, I think it was also like a miscommunication on the understanding of what they meant by a lot of that. Stuff. 
So let's just listen to a little bit. Andrew talked about this a little bit uh, next with our two launch maps. So Liberty Falls is intended to be sort of a smaller, more casual, so you can just jump right in, compared to Terminus, which is one of the like it, but I'm biggest round based zombies maps that Treyarch has ever made. So lots to do there, lots to do in both maps. But I think um, Terminus speaks to the more hardcore. Uh, players and fans of zombies and so <laughs> definitely at launch not me, with both maps there's really I something still for enjoy everyone it for sure. I yeah. could dive into a Liberty definitely Falls game casual, run around still. for say an hour save and quit uh, we'll, we'll see whereas I feel action. like with Terminus this is much more of a we're yeah. committing to this squad a few of the HUD elements and zombies are also getting touched up um, which we'll be able to share oh. a little bit more about as we get closer to launch so that's another thing that people were talking about Aura the whole HUD elements a lot of people don't like the way that uh, I think the war zone HUD elements that were implemented during, I think it was Cold War into zombies, and they didn't like the how it, it took away from the zombies feel in terms of the UI, that HUD that you get with like your ammo, your gun, and like your character icon and stuff like that. Like I, I think I, I was kind of like besides it, like I didn't really care as much, but at the same time, like now playing Black Ops 3, because some stupid reason I never did until recently. Um, I understand it. I can completely understand it. It definitely adds to the feel a lot more. Um, I, I mean, I played in World at War. That was like the ma last, or cool, I think, World at War, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. I think Black Ops 2 was when I switched over to PC, and I didn't play another Call of Duty title until BO4, which is so sad because BO3 is so good. Um, but regardless... HUD elements, they do a lot. A lot of people, I mean, you're hearing it in the community. I think everybody giving them like good criticism, good on them. Everybody giving them just straight up bad criticism and not giving any solutions for fixing it, horrible. Don't like that. But otherwise, I like that they're touching it up. I really want to see what they're going to do. Make sure you look out for the upcoming COD blogs mm. um, from... The Call Ooh, of Duty crew and the zombies <laughs> team to uh, learn a little bit more. Is the entire focus of the team to develop round-based experiences for this game? As in, Good only question. RBZ. I think we know that. Yes. I think the answer is yes. Yeah. And yep. Kevin Drew, is. who is on our last episode, who is an awesome human um, and, and leading many parts of uh, Zombies of Treyarch, uh, mentioned this at Call of Duty Next, that the team is entirely yes. focused yes, yes, yes. on developing round-based zombies content Dalek. for Black Ops 6. And that the big news at Next and on our second episode yeah. was that the third round-based zombies maps for BO6 will arrive by the end of the year. So we've got Liberty Falls and Terminus at launch and then a third right. round-based zombies map coming, you know, probably around season one. But by my math. Ooh. And today... <laughs> Wait, hold up. Wait, is season one? I, we... Okay, a lot of people were speculating this map wasn't coming until maybe season one reloaded. But even then, that means that's crazy. Good luck for those Easter egg <laughs> speedrunners, because holy moly, that's going to be crazy. I'm excited. To, oh, I'm already excited for both maps. I'm not going to lie. Like, even despite all the stuff with Liberty Falls, this uh, a, a third one to think a third one is going to happen before the end of the year. Like in season one on the, I'm assuming the beginning of season one drop, I'm going to say, but if that happens, holy moly, I'm going to be so excited for zombies. I'm going to be so overwhelmed just trying to keep up with zombies because I think in the beginning, I'm hundred percent just going to be knocking out the campaign to begin with, maybe playing it again later on in the sea in when season one starts up just to see if there's anything else, any more rewards or anything like that. Man three maps before the end of the year and the game is like barely about a release and and we only have two like, <laughs> we only have two months oh lord until next year so that, that's just crazy three maps two months i don't know that's that's a lot i'm excited but that just sounds like so much we can also confirm that Zombies players can expect more support for in-game events uh compared to previous black ops games so stay I tuned like this. I'm to excited see for the what those might be. Final question here from the mailbag. Will Kevin Sherwood's Easter egg songs be returning in Ew. Zombies? Good also question. Also known as The Goat. Meh. 
Nice. Um, <laughs> short answer, again, yes. Uh, Kevin Sherwood is back, and he is writing some incredible, amazing original songs. Heck yeah. This is, uh, I don't know if you if you guys have done this before. I mean, if if you do Easter eggs at all, this is definitely one of the ones that you do want to do. But um, just finding these Easter egg songs is one of the things that just... I'm already hyped up getting into zombies, but whenever I freaking get this Easter egg and play it, I always do it during a time where I feel like energy gets a little bit low during zombies. And like, usually this is like pretty far into rounds, but we always get everything up until the last one um, to cue up the song. And oh my gosh, the music just slaps. It's so good. If you haven't absolutely listened for to zombies them. and players will be able to discover two of them at launch so again one for each map mm. with terminus island sense, and liberty falls sense. um i have heard the songs for both of them and they are ducking epic they will be <laughs> in the carry reaction. section of duck carry kill yes for the foreseeable future but <laughs> also carry. i think for now for most folks that. it's okay cool i want to hear these songs for previous games and again for the first time you jump into zombies do your homework have a listen to kevin show work because they're quite literally. If you have yeah. it, for on sure. repeat until I'm October be 25th epic. and beyond. So oh, absolutely. Um, get excited, have fun hunting. While I'm playing some BO3 zombies. Never been good at that. I've always let other people find them first, and then I get to experience them <laughs> of, on my, <laughs> my own mind, pace. But too. this is going to be <laughs> a so ton of these. fun. We have so much. And of course, um, you know, we'll be signing off until our next episode before launch and then it will be upon us and then hopefully you know we'll be back to talk about season one oh. awesome. well I th that's like that's pretty much everything but oh my gosh if you if you haven't make sure you sub to the channel click the like button if you enjoyed this uh video just going over mainly the zombie stuff because we just did a gameplay re uh trailer yesterday um reveal thing that i just uh posted and was really late too but we got it otherwise i'll catch you guys on the flip side.